Hello everyone, this is Dr. Rapino. I hope uh, everyone is doing fine. So in this video, we'll be seeing a very uh, interesting topic. So I'll be telling you the six important strategies, which probably your fellow mates are not following. And by following these six rules, you can uh, have a upper hand compared to them in any exam. So basically, uh, all we write nowadays is competitive exams. So we have a lot of competition between ourselves. So probably you should be better than better than others. So you'll have to do something extra or do something special in order to secure a rank in whichever exam that you're appearing for. So in this video, I'll be telling you about the six important and uh, kind of different strategies, which will obviously build, uh, get you upper hand in your, in your competitive exams. So you should follow all these six rules in order to be successful. So make sure you watch the video completely. So going into the video, the first thing I want to say is for your competitive exams, you can use first aid book. So this book is usually underrated in uh, certain parts of the country, certain uh, parts of the world. So basically this first aid books is used for the USMLE exams, but the contents in this book that they have given is very good that uh, you can revise the subjects in shorter days compared to any other book. So obviously when you have very little time before your exams, I would suggest you to uh, read this book and uh, have this book as a revision material for your uh, any for your uh, competitive exams. So this book is very useful and uh, have used it personally and uh, I would uh, obviously recommend it. So if you want this book, uh, I will drop it down in the comment uh, description. You can join that group and uh, in that group, I'll upload this uh, book. So the next important thing that I want to tell is using flashcards. So just before the exams, when you have uh, one or two months before your exams, using flashcards will be really, really helpful for you. Flag flashcards are nothing but you just uh, make a card and uh, write the important uh, tables or important flowcharts. You can do this handwritten or even there are many apps such as Anki, uh, you can use those, use those apps and uh, make your own flashcards. So for just for example, whenever you're reading a topic and uh, just want to know the crux of the topic, you can just make a small flowchart or a small table in which reading uh, this flashcard will have to remind you of the whole chapter that you have revised. So flashcards are very, very useful. And uh, again, with my experience, uh, I would highly, highly suggest you to do this. So whenever you're studying any topic, you just have to make a flashcard flash card at the end of the uh, topic and then save it for later to revise before your exams. Now, the third important point that I want to tell you is solve questions in the morning. So most of them would be reading, uh, revising completely in the morning, evening, and at night they would use to solve questions. But what I would recommend you is whenever you have the examination or whenever your uh, exam is scheduled to be for example, your exam will be from 9 a.m. to 12 uh, p.m. in the morning. So during that time, you will have to train your brain to uh, solve questions. So during that part of the time, your brain should be most active. So solve questions when you are preparing, solve questions from 9 to 12, and then you can uh, read your subjects. In that way, whenever you get to that uh, time, your brain will be more active compared to the usual days. So train yourself as uh, having exam every day and uh, follow the same pattern of uh, which uh, how your exam is going to be so that will be really helpful for you so coming to point number four we can use this 80 20 Pareto rule so what they are coming to say is that whatever you do 20 percent that uh, that is going to yield you the 80 percent uh, for example when you sow 20 percent of the seeds so that is going to give you 80% of the flowers. So just this, this concept is also used in studies. So for studying, whenever you read the core topics or the very, very important uh, rapid revision kind of courses or those uh, crash courses, those kind of things will yield almost 80% of your questions in the exam. So this is this is the this is a practical, uh, practically proven theory. So what I'm coming to say by this point is that you will have to uh, 
make a rapid revision or if, if you already have any books or uh, any app for it then you can use it such as rapid revision means the whole topic like two to three hours of the content is shortened into 30 minutes or 25 minutes those kind of things so you also have certain books for this kind of uh, important highlighted points and uh, from these you are going to get more number of questions in your exams so yeah the first point that i want to tell you is that you will have to make a plan and more importantly you will have to stick to the plan so whatever plan that you are going to make you have to stick to that plan making a plan is kind of easy but uh, following it every day is difficult so what you will have to do is instead of making a long range plan you will have to make a short term short term plan with short term goals so make a plan saying that today i will have to complete these many chapters and tomorrow i'll have to complete these many chapters and at the end of the day you will mark how many chapters that you have completed making this kind of uh, uh, kind of notes and tables uh, about uh, your progression or about your studies will help you get an insight later on because after one month you will turn back to the turn back to your plan notes and check how how uh, importantly that you have followed the plan or how much that you have followed and uh, how much have you missed from the plan so that in the next month you can uh, revise and make a uh, better plan compared to the previous one so you will have to adjust and mold yourself instead of making a long range plan and uh, dropping it in the between so this is the fifth important point and the last important point that i want to tell you is uh, revision so revise 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 so revision is going to be really crucial in any sort of exam at any time so before going to any exam i would at least recommend you to revise two to three times of the subjects that you have uh, have your if you have your notes for so these are the six important things that i want to share with you which uh, will give you a upper hand compared to the other competitors so i hope you follow all these six plans and uh, i hope you do well in your exams so that's all that i want to share about this keep preparing hard for your exams so whatever you think you can achieve that's all for today if you haven't subscribed to the channel please do subscribe thank you